Okay, so new single, Spirit yeah. Indestructible. Love uh, it. Tell me all you. about it. Yeah, Spirit Indestructible is the name of my album. Well, my album's called The Spirit Indestructible. Okay. And the song is just inspired by a lot of stuff that's happened to me in the last couple of years. I've taken time out to just do different things that I'm passionate about. I started my own label, Nell Star Records. Um, I've been, I joined forces with this amazing organization called Free the Children. I'm an ambassador for them and they build schools around the world. So I've traveled to, to Kenya over the last couple of years in Africa and met a lot of really inspiring people with truly indestructible spirits. And I kind of wanted in the song to kind of pay tribute to current events in my life and current events in the world and also um, you know, stuff over history that's inspired me. Um, you know, different books I was reading about times when humans have really overcome. And um, the song is a pop song, which makes it fun. And you can move your body to it. Um, but I like making songs that have sort of a message of some kind, um, but mixed in with a fun sort of sound that feels, um, feels um, fresh and fun. <laughs> So is, is the writing that helps to bring your balance into your life? Because I mean, as a woman in this industry, how do you manage keeping your life? You do a great job at keeping your life private and, as well as moving. So how do you do that? How do you um, that I don't know. I think that I've had to consciously kind of create sort of, sort of sanctity or sanctuaries in my own life. I think one of them is being a mother. That's one of my sanctuaries and that um, I love being a mom. It's my number one gig. <laughs> And I just really value and treasure just parenting, you know, and I think it really grounds me a lot. And um, just having a family, having that balance in life is what keeps me really grounded. And I guess more to work for and more to kind of protect, really. So I kind of, you know, I like to keep my private life and my career separate, but I think the joys in both I share, you know? I think the joy in my personal life I put into my music. I think my music is personal. I do talk about the real stuff in my own life. It's the only way I really know how to write. Sometimes I don't understand something in my life until I write a song about it. So it just, it just depends. So can you tell us about your first time working with Timberland? Did anything yeah. funny happen? Yeah, Maybe like yeah. a funny story or something? Yeah, I have a very fond memory of my first time working with Timberland. It was in 2002, Whoa Nelly, my first album just came out, and I got a call from my record company saying Timbaland had sampled my vocals from Whoa Nelly on the song Baby Girl, and it was the part that I sang, ba 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 ching ching, ba 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 ching ching, that part. <laughs> and so he sampled and made into a new track for his artist, Miss Jade, that was on his label at the time. So he said, Timbaland's invited you down to the studio, check out the sample, see if you like it. So I went down to the studio, and I met Mr. Tim Mosley for the first time, and within five seconds, I was in the vocal booth. <laughs> I just like got, I said hi, and I just went in the vocal booth and started singing, and it was, I felt immediately inspired just by his presence, and um, we have a really unique chemistry together, and yeah, so I mean, that day he played me um, Missy Elliott, uh, Get Your Freak On, Ooh. and he said, Missy wants you on this remix, Ooh. and so, a week later, I was in the studio with Missy, recording a remix for Get Your Freak On. Hello, I'm Nelly Furtado and you're checking out Global Grind.